globalization and the indian economy today we are going to discuss about what is globalization and what was the impact of globalization on the indian economy just to understand this one let's go for a brief introduction the globalization let us keep the word aside earlier in the indian roads we all know that before 1990s even the prime minister the president or the chief minister governors all used to use the car the official car was ambassador the ambassador was considered as the most privileged and the luxurious car which is been followed for providing comforts for the topmost leaders of india even the private privileged classes people also used the ambassador cars or some people used to use the fiat cars but today if you observe the indian roads you find various varieties of brands of cars starting from rolls royce land rover mercedes benz toyota hyundai uh, all these cars were manufactured away from india but still they are used on the indian roads from this point we can understand that prior to 1990s we have only the indian products coming into the indian markets but once in 1991 the indian rationalization or liberalization policy has come into the indian economic reforms under the able leadership of p v narsimha rao the then prime minister and the then finance minister mr manmohan singh took up the great initiative to introduce changes of liberalization policy in the indian economy so after 1991 india has seen a rapid changes transformation of the day to day lifestyle of the people availability of large international products in the indian markets and also large varieties of products large companies have stepped in to indian land so these all have brought rapid changes in the lives of the people and also in the market of india it's not that only the abroad markets have come into our country only the far good companies have come into our country even indian products have reached to various corners of the world today indian products are also valid all over the world indian market has reached to various corners of the world today india is able to do exports and imports with the far east of japan the same in the far west of brazil so there is no boundaries for india's imports as well as for india's exports so the globalization concept is nothing but liberalization and making the products more and more available and making your market to a wide range where you can reach to large number of people at the same time you will be in competition with large number of people you can sell your product to millions of people across the world in the same way you get competition from hundreds of the companies which are located at various corners of the world so globalization improves the standard of living globalization adds market space for you globalization also adds competition for your product so globalization has did globalization benefit the indians did globalization bring any advantages to the indian people how did it affected the indians lifestyle how did it affect the standard of living of the indian people in this chapter we are going to discuss about all these questions and try to find out the possible answers for this if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus